Karina, Kim, and Christine hit the books every evening, in preparation for a final exam less than a month away. They're among seven of 26 students who have made it to this point in the course of study. They're training to become sommeliers. I always enjoyed wine. I mean, wine kind of a big part of my family. Um, everyone in my family really enjoys drinking wine, enjoys different wines, enjoys, um, to a certain extent, you know, finding out about wines. Just that it was the most complex thing in the world and that it was, you know, so so amazing that something that's virtually naturally made, all it contains is grapes and yeast, can take on so many different flavors. A sommelier is a trained wine professional who works in fine dining restaurants and specializes in all areas of wine service as well as food and wine pairings. Michael Fagan has been in the professional wine industry for over 40 years, most notably as a columnist for the LCBO's Food and Drink magazine. He says while sometimes it's hard work, at other times it doesn't feel like work at all. Overall, it definitely takes someone with passion and commitment to become a sommelier. It's not just a job, it's a lifestyle. To be a good sommelier, and to be good in this business, you have to have great recall. You have to have unbelievable sense of smell and taste, and you have to remember all of those senses and places, and uh, that that is key. Uh, to be successful outside of knowing that and getting the certification is on the floor. The ability to share your passion uh, to get everybody else enthused about it. It is a very scientific way of taking something that can be entirely poetic. Generally, I mean, we, we break down the, the, the courses, uh, viticulture and viniculture, the uh, growing of grapes and, and the making of wine from those grapes. From there, we, uh, we do a, a, an in-depth look at um, uh, sensory perception, using uh, visual nose and palate to assess wine. Um, we spend a fair bit of time with the students, getting them familiarized with their palate. But uh, we really go in depth and look at uh, a lot of different taste comparisons, how, it's, how food reacts with uh, wine, um, and history of restaurants, history of fine dining, uh, the history of sommeliers in, in restaurants, a bit of perspective on the, uh, on the career of the For Karina, Kim, and Christine, the only thing between them and the career of their dreams is the final exam. The final exam is um, it's an all-day affair. There's uh, different parts to it, including um, a written component, and there is a tasting component, which is a blind tasting of, of two different wines, and you're timed. Uh, you need to serve a sparkling wine, and you need to decant uh, a red wine, and serve it all properly, and there's questions about spirits um, and cocktails. You know, it's just a very structured uh, format that you need to follow. And obviously you serve the women first, and then you serve the, the men, the host is always served last, um, and you're always walking clockwise around the table. Um, yeah, so there's, there's, different, there's different things, and you have to follow them all in order to pass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little nervous about the final exam. It's quite a daunting exercise and because it encompasses everything that we've covered during the entire year, um, really any, anything, they could ask you anything. Wine is dry, medium plus acid, medium plus tannin, medium plus body, medium plus alcohol. Again, with the dark cherry, juicy cherry, um, lots of fruit, um, strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, cassis, um, again with the spice, there's, um, there's cracked black pepper. This wine is from the New World warm climate, one to three years. Um, this wine is a Cabernet Sauvignon from USA, California, Napa Valley. Vintage is 2013. I, yeah, yeah, I think that people mostly think that Psalms are snobs, um, but they're 
educated and passionate about wine. And you need to have the passion for it, really. Um, passion is key, and you cannot do this without that because it is hard. It's, it's hard. It should be hard. If it were easy, what would be the point? For the Lifestyle Cheers. File, I'm Anjali Sood in Toronto.